Oh, hello everyone. How are you doing? Um, this is Neil. I, I'm filming on my birthday. Why would I? Why would I want to do that? Uh, because I've been given some really awesome stuff. A lot of it is dark wizardly, which is why I did that whole sort of smoky thing. I would normally blast in in some fire and do all the whole sort of heroic entrance. <laughs> I didn't do that today because today I'm a dark wizard. I presume. So I'm going to be showing you some of the cool stuff I've got for my birthday, including this amazing cake made by Blue Lady. If you've been on my live streams, Blue Lady is a regular, and thanks very much for that. That's flipping brilliant. Okay, so if you want to see all of the dark wizardly stuff that I've got for my birthday, hold your horses, hold your thestrals, I suppose, because it's coming up right after this. <laughs> Okay, so let's get started then, shall we? The first up isn't particularly dark, but it is kind of cool. This is a time turner. Not only is it a time turner, it's actually a time turner key ring. And the reason being is that I'm not really the sort of guy that wears necklaces because, you know, I'm a guy. If that sounds sexist, don't care. Uh, this is the <laughs> time turner that uh, Hermione would have used in Prisoner of Azkaban. It's really kind of cool. It's solid metal, as far as I can make out, and it does spin, which means that if I were to do this, oh, and move my fat thumbs out of the way. Now it does actually spin, so if I was to give this a twist, there we go, it does actually spin. And the sand inside is genuine sand, and it does actually fall from one bowl to the other. Bowl? Is that a thing? I don't know. From one reservoir to the other? That's probably better. Um, so that's that's pretty neat. It doesn't have the twisty thing at the side here, which Hermione used in Prisoner of Azkaban. It's unfortunate, really, because I think she just sort of twisted it like that and it just went... Um, it didn't make the noise. It's just a thing. But yeah, I think that's pretty neat. I think it's cool. Um, that will definitely go on my car keys and potentially it could send my car back in time. Now I am currently working on how to make my car invisible. You may have seen last year I made my car fly in that video up there. If you haven't seen it, check it out. It is kind of fun. Um, so I'm trying to make my car invisible at the moment using the invisibility booster that I installed uh, last week. And I'm also going to be using this key ring that goes on my car keys to turn my car back in time. That should be fun. All right. Enough of that silliness, let's get on with some dark magic, shall we? My wonderful wife, who bought me that key ring, also bought me another wand. Now this wand is the Snake Death Eater wand. Uh, it looks like it's made just from wood. This is clearly made from resin with, I think, a solid core. Um, but it does look like wood and it's painted pretty well to look like wood, except for this little skeleton. Now this skeleton looks like it's been wood that's painted white. It isn't. Again, it's resin to painted to look like wood and then painted white, presumably. I don't quite know what this thing sticking out of his mouth is. It almost looks like he's pretending to be a little teapot short and stout. I'm not quite sure. Um, maybe it's the beginning of the dark mark, but in that case, Ollivander, who presumably made this wand, must have known that this was going to be a Death Eater's wand. So unless he was a dark wizard himself, which he very easily might have been, he was quite creepy in that first film. <laughs> Why would he make it? There's a good question for you. So Garrick Ollivander made this wand, as far as I know. Um, it does sit quite nicely in the hand, quite far forward in the hand, in fact. So you can almost hold it like Bellatrix Lestrange's wand, again, linked up here, um, where you can kind of hook it almost. Um, it's got this sort of wavy design, as you'd almost expect from a snake, I suppose, but it does really sit very, very well indeed in the hand. These embellishments, I suppose, sit really nicely with the fingers as well. So you can hold this quite comfortably for quite some time, and it's not spiky or awkward to hold. It's actually quite a comfortable grip. It's quite bulky, so if that's what you like, great. That's not my ideal wand, to be honest, but we'll come on to that in just a moment. So, sticking with the Dark Wizards for a second, 
And this is sort of a dark wizard, I guess. This is a Grigorovich wand. In fact, it's the Grigorovich wand. Um, this is actually the wand used by Grigorovich when he wasn't using the death stick. Um, whether or not he used the death stick, don't actually know. Um, but these are the runes all the way down what almost looks like a driftwood uh, handle and pommel. I don't know whether there is really a pommel on this. It's just all sort of very naturalistic. And then there's some runes again. Not actual runes. Again, it's worth pointing out that these are Harry Potter style runes, not actual runes. Uh, they don't actually mean anything as far as I can make out. Um, but it looks like natural driftwood. So I really like this simply because the paintwork and the sculpting on it makes it look like a natural piece of wood. And then it goes down to this very, very straight wand blade that's a bit darker than the actual handle here uh, and then you've got this standard sort of copyright thing on it Warner Brothers Entertainment. I really really love this wand it's slightly glossy at the end almost like it's been sort of wax sealed um, but this is probably one of my favorites now simply because it's it really looks like a, a real root or a real stick um, I haven't yet got the Snatcher wand. I did order it today, so it will be coming, and when it does, then I'll do another video. I'll drop that one. Um, but it kind of reminds me of the Snatcher wand, simply because it does have these sort of almost ripped out chunks, and it looks like it's been a real piece of wood from a wand tree that someone's just picked up and just gone, I can make a wand out of that. So that's really awesome. And this is a Grigorovich wand, it's the Grigorovich wand, it's owned by Grigorovich. So, sticking with the same theme, now I, I, again, I don't know whether Grigorovich really was a dark wizard, but sticking with that theme, this is definitely a dark wizard's wand. This is Grindelwald's wand. Now, it almost looks like a piece of bark just ripped off a thorn, um, which is probably what it was, to be honest. But it's all twisty, and it's very very light but then you kind of expect that simply because it is almost half a wand um, I'm not going to wave this around too much because I'm guessing it's quite delicate but it's got these thorns on here which if you had it in a wand pocket it would be kind of difficult to get in and out I think it's got three thorns three is a magic number they say and uh, Grindelwald was a very powerful wizard and still is presumably he was in Nurmengard wasn't he although no, Voldemort killed him, that's right. Yeah, this is this is pretty awesome, to be honest. I really like it. It's very, very thin, as you can as you can probably tell. Hopefully you can tell that. Um But this is it's almost like it's not really a wand at all, or it should never really have been a wand. Um and for that reason, that's probably why I like it so much. I just think it's really thin and really, really slick. So probably probably my favourite wand right now. Those last two especially, I really love those ones. So what did you think? Tell me what you think, put them down in the comments and tell me which wand of those three you would like or would you like the Time Turner? Who knows? So I am also going to just say one more thing and this is about a massive giveaway that I'm planning. As soon as I hit 8,000 subscribers and I'm really not very far away from that now, I will be giving away tons of stuff and I know I've been sort of teasing this out for a while but I'm going to be doing it for 8,000. I'm not going to be doing it before. I'm going to be doing it as soon as I hit 8,000 or as close to that as I possibly can. And there is loads of stuff that I'm giving away, like really, really loads of stuff. So if you want to be in on that, head on over to realworldmagic.net, scroll all the way down to the bottom, enter your email address in there. You can also uh, look out for the video, but if you don't want to do that, you can also subscribe to this channel and click the bell button to be notified of next time I go live or upload anything. And I definitely will be doing a video. I've actually recorded it already and I've even uploaded it already. And it's ready to go. As soon as I see the 8,000 thing on my statistics, I will make that video live. You will see it. It will be there. Um, if you don't want to take the chance, then subscribe to my mailing list. I can't actually remember the last time I sent anything out to anybody on my mailing list. But this is going to be big news and I definitely will send something out to everybody that's on my mailing list. You're all going to get this free giveaway completely for free. I'm not going to ask anything from you. So 
it's just really a way of saying thanks so much for your support. And talking of which, these wonderful people support me every month. These are my members and my patrons, and they are awesome. Uh, if you want to become one of these wonderful people, head on down to the links in the description. You can join this channel from only £1.99 a month. You can head on over to patreon.com. You can go to paypal.me forward slash realworldmagic where you can just buy me a one-off beer. It is my birthday. This is why I'm doing these things. I'm just saying that just in case you feel generous. Uh, thanks very much though. I really do appreciate you watching this video. Share it with your friends. Comment, like, subscribe, ding that bell, all of that sort of awesome stuff that all YouTubers tell you. But it does mean an awful lot to us, to be honest. If you comment down below as well, that helps my stats. And it doesn't cost you a penny. But I will be back next time with some more magical awesomeness. And until next time, as always... Very magical. Magical. Please subscribe to Real World Magic. While you're there, click the bell button to be notified of future uploads. And have a look at all of my social stuff. Remember to donate on Patreon if you really, really liked it. And I'll see you again next week.